Welcome back. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. You can watch us on the go as well on your mobile device. Just log on to m.channelstv.com or simply download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature, so you too can be a part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Well, we have more on the president's health and his reasons uh, for extending his medical leave in the UK. Uh, let's now listen to his spokesperson, Femi Adishino, on that issue. The president wants Nigerians to know that he appreciates their prayers, he appreciates their concerns, he appreciates their goodwill. And uh, he has added that there is really no cause to worry. He is the one who owns the body, is his body, and uh, there is nobody who will know his body more than him. And he says, no cause for worry. No we cause to worry, rather. Uh, <laughs> Nigerians will be wondering now uh, how long... Uh, how long? No, no, no. You know that I speak for somebody. I don't speak for myself. So it is what he tells me to say that I say. And the statement transmitted to me is that the president needs to rest for some further time. Is so so I can't say anything Nigeria? beyond that. What we have just said is what I would rather have us believe. The president says he needs to rest further. The same president that communicated that to us, when it is time for him to come, he will also communicate the date and the time he will come. The message I'm communicating is let us learn to believe our leaders. This was a man we elected into office. And he says, no cause to worry. Let's believe him. Providing quality and affordable education at the basic level is a form of investment in human capital. These were the words of the Ondo State Governor, Dr. Olusha Mimiko, at the official commissioning of the Caring Heart Mega Primary School. The school is located in Ijapo Housing Estate, Akure, the state capital. Present to grace the occasion are government functionaries, teachers, parents, and their wards. The governor of the state, Dr. Ulushegu Mimiko, feels particularly fulfilled to be commissioning the new school. The government has discharged one of its primary responsibility to give this one a head start in life. This the investment in human capital. These are the ones that will create the wealth that we ensure that they bring development to our society. He points out that as far as official opening of schools go, this is just the beginning. This may be the last mega school I've been commissioning before I leave. You see, I'm more than 30 or 20 waiting for commissioning. The governor and other officials proceed to cut the tape. In the name of the Son, yeah. in the name of the Holy Ghost. The school is one of the projects previously scheduled for commissioning by the acting vice president before unfavorable weather prevented him from flying down. The Lagos state government has begun to turn out landlords through its rent-to-own housing program that enables residents own property at affordable rates and for a flexible repayment plan. A hundred housing units were handed to the first batch of beneficiaries of the scheme at an official key handover ceremony. Housing is a major challenge in Lagos State amidst its growing population. The Lagos rent-to-own housing policy is designed for those who cannot afford or meet the requirements of 30% equity contribution for the mortgage scheme introduced by the former state administration. Under the policy, prospective homeowners would only make a 5% commitment fee, take possession and pay up the remaining balance towards the ownership of the property over a period of 10 years. 
The policy is aimed at making housing accessible and affordable to middle and low income earners. Today, the first batch of 100 allottees are giving keys to their various apartments, ranging from self-contained to three-bedroom apartments in five out of 12 estates earmarked for the rent-to-own program. We got everything by the internet. The payment, the percentage to be paid, all everything, all the information was gotten by the internet. The allergies of today are being screened, are being pre-qualified by the Lagos Mortgage Board. And it's also very, very important to emphasize that due diligence was well observed. The housing units have been allocated at the Sir Michael Otedola Estate Epe, Oba Adeborua Estate Igbogbo Ikorodu, Choi City Estate Agboa, Honorable Olaito Mustafa Estate in Ojokoro, and Alahaja Adetung Mustafa Estate also in Ojokoro. They can only pick a few people as beneficiaries in the first instance. But what is sacrosanct is that you must be resident in Lagos State and you must be paying your taxes. The exercise continues as the Lagos State government plans to roll out 100 housing units monthly. Governments of the six southwestern states of Nigeria have been challenged to deepen necessary reforms and take full advantage of the human and natural resources for effective regional integration and service delivery for their people. This was brought to the fore at the opening session of the four-day Southwest Governance Innovation Conference, which opened in Abilkuta, the Ogun State Capital. The Deputy Governor of Ogun State and other government officials from the six states of the Southwest at the Regional Integration Conference in Abilkuta, the Ogun State Capital. The objective of the meeting is to reposition the region and bring it back on the part of the developmental agenda of its founding fathers. We must seize the opportunity provided by this forum to reawaken our collective sense of history as a people, bringing back to reality the socio-economic development we share under one government. The Director General of the Commission, who doubles as the Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, highlights the urgent need for necessary reforms and the independence of the legislature. That is why it's very important that we build a synergy and strengthen our legislative institutions, particularly to work closely to ensure a full independence of legislative harm of government that will be free from the executive or acting as an appendage of the executive arm of government. The keynote speaker tasked leaders from the region to put politics aside and focus on togetherness, a move that will ultimately be beneficial to all. You cannot talk about integration if you do not link states. Real, which is one of the things we would have wanted to do a long time ago, we can't do because the federal government has taken it. We go back to the opening statement, constitution. The federal government takes it from us. Second problem, and it is right that it is said so, whether you are in APC or PDP, it really doesn't matter. We are in Tamari. We are more doing in the first place, for God's sake. But the politics that we tend to ignore is the biggest elephant in the room. We may talk about it that way, it doesn't matter, but in actual fact, it is everything. The four day event will see topics such as community and social development projects, business entrepreneurship, and skill acquisition being discussed. Hopefully, all recommendations thereafter will bring about the desired results. When news across Nigeria returns, more reactions trail Ali Modu Sheriff's victory at the appeal court. That's in a moment. Please stay with us.